Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. Now get ready because we've got some really interesting subjects on today's show, all of them to make your home and living space a better place to be. Now let's see, we're going to get environmentally friendly. We have a segment that deals with just that. We're going to look at some bathroom remodeling and something I always enjoy, a cool gadget to make our <laughs> lives easier. Plus we've got some other surprises. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Here on Designing Spaces, we think green and we like to bring you the latest environmentally friendly products and services for your home and your family. And one of the big issues for the environment nowadays is waste, you know, the stuff we're throwing away. Exactly, and sometimes common household items we throw out can be hazardous to our health and community. Designing Spaces correspondent Amy Nakbar reports from Stoughton, Massachusetts. Today's homeowner is more environmentally aware than ever before. And with the new environmental awareness, new phrases such as carbon footprint have emerged, signaling homeowners to use green products and reduce energy consumption. And let's not forget the utility bill, which continues to rise every year. Part of the new energy conservation has resulted in a shifting of power-consuming household items, such as the light bulb. New compact fluorescent bulbs are energy efficient and longer lasting than their tungsten-based counterparts, but they do have a downside. Like in any fluorescent bulb, there is mercury, a poisonous heavy metal considered by the EPA an environmental and health hazard. The good news is that the CFLs and other fluorescent bulbs can be safely and easily recycled today. Designing Spaces spoke with John McShane the manager of the Electronics Recycling Division of Veolia Environmental Services, the largest recycler in North America of mercury-bearing bulbs. John, it's my understanding that mercury could be poisonous or hazardous to the environment. Why would that be? Well, that's correct. Mercury is a heavy metal, and exposure to sufficient amounts of it can create adverse health effects for human beings. The most common form of exposure for a human perspective is through the ingestion of fish. Mercury, however, does have some benefits. Take, for example, its usage in a compact fluorescent lamp. There's a small amount that's sealed in the lamp, and in fact, it gives it its charge or its glow. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency actually estimates by usage of the compact fluorescent lamp that a homeowner can save approximately $30 in their utility bill. The key to making this all happen is at the end of the life of the compact fluorescent lamp to be able to recycle it and reclaim that mercury in a proper fashion. Improper disposal of mercury can lead to contamination of rivers, lakes, and streams, thus increasing risk to the environment and human health. Mercury contamination and exposure has been linked to cardiovascular diseases, mental retardation, and neurological disorders. Well, so how much mercury could there be in a compact fluorescent bulb? It's not a lot, Amy. It's about five milligrams, or the amount that could fit on the end of a ballpoint pen. While this may not seem like a lot, consider the millions of households throwing lamps in the trash, and you get an idea of the massive scope of the problem. If a single lamp does break... The amount of mercury is very small and the broken lamp can safely be cleaned up by the homeowner. A number of states have published procedures for cleaning up a broken CFL in a home. Here we are in our home office space. We see a desk with a computer, a digital camera, and other electronic items. John, tell me, could you recycle any of this? Yes, we can, Amy. Uh, we could start with the computer monitor. Within this monitor, this older unit here, is a cathode ray tube that actually contains lead. Secondly, we have devices such as the digital camera, the telephone, and the actual computer itself. Most homeowners have a variety of hazardous materials inside their garage, including paints, pesticides, drain cleaners, antifreeze, and auto fluids. Well, this has certainly been an eye-opener. What's a consumer or a homeowner to do? What's your solution for someone who wants to protect the environment and recycle mercury-bearing products, as well as some of the other products you mentioned to us? Well, first and foremost, it's important for the consumer to develop local and specialized recycling options for these types of materials. Veolia Environmental Services offers all types of services 
designed to assist consumers either directly or indirectly with proper recycling and disposal. Whether that's solid waste or hazardous waste, Veoli Environmental Services has worked with state and local government to set up household hazardous waste collection events, drop-off points. In addition, we've been able to develop our mailback or shipback programs that makes it easy for the consumer to recycle. Recycle Pack is a prepaid recycling program for fluorescent lighting, lamp ballast, batteries, mercury-containing thermostats, and computer electronics. Basically, users of Recycle Pack purchase a container, fill that container with approved waste materials, and then ship it to Veolia for recycling. Well, we recycle at Veolia Environmental Services about 250,000 lamps on a daily basis. Can you imagine what it's like for a major retailer, like one of the big box stores, to dispose of a set of fluorescent lamps? In these situations, we coordinate a pickup of materials using semi-trailers. Most big box retailers recycle truckloads of material at a time. For them and us, recycling is easy. The volumes help to offset the high cost of transportation. Now think about the small business or the consumer who wants to do the proper thing and recycle and the challenges that they're faced with. So we've developed the Recycle Pack program, which is the perfect fit for it. The emerging trend is that the homeowner wants to recycle and wants to be able to recycle more products. This is the perfect solution for it. When you receive your recycling container, set it up following the directions printed on the package. Add the plastic liner and you're set to begin filling your container. With a recycle pack in a secure location, carefully add intact compact fluorescent bulbs. When handling glass, we advise homeowners to wear the appropriate safety gear, including glasses and gloves. When full, secure the plastic liner and tape the box. Log on to www.fedex.com to locate your nearest authorized FedEx ground drop-off center. That's it. Your container of bulbs will be delivered to one of Veolia's four processing facilities where your bulbs will be recycled by separating bulbs into glass, aluminum, plastic, and hazardous mercury-bearing phosphor powder. Veolia also reclaims the mercury from the powder completing the recycling process. Of course, this is all accomplished in state-of-the-art facilities in accordance with all federal, state, and local regulations. A homeowner can simply log on to www.prepaidrecycling.com in order this. Within a few days, it's sent out to their location. Bottom line, folks, help the environment and help yourself. Think green and recycle. I'm correspondent Amy Nackbar for Designing Spaces. On today's show, we have seen some really interesting new concepts for our homes and personal spaces. We were busy. Let's see, we got bathtubs, light bulbs, mm -hmm. clean air, labor-saving devices, decking material. Just another day on the job here on Designing Spaces. Exactly, but we're out of time. But thank you so much for joining us today. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time on Designing Spaces.